I remember um, even before we came, we were checking out like the Ghanaian visa yeah. and we called the Ghanaian High Commission. Mm -hmm. And we told, we were talking and he was ask, asking about the interest in Ghana and we yeah. said we bought property there. The man laughed at us. He laughed? He laughed. <laughs> he laughed. So on this particular day, mom called and she's like, there, I need to go to Ghana. And I'm like, what? Ghana? <laughs> Ghana? Where? Why? 22nd of May, uh -huh. 2024. You will never we'll forget go it. down in history. <laughs> <laughs> Africa and Jamaica was one, yeah. and I think something happened on the split, right. and then the sea came we have, to, we have to figure it out. <laughs> this is home. I refer to Ghana as a big, giant Jamaica. Hi, wonderful people. Welcome back to the Royal Kingdom Estate platform. My name is Ajwa Adi, and today, once more, we're seated to have another motherland series and in today's video i'm going to be talking to one beautiful amazing wonderful woman we're going to be looking inside her life her journey to ghana and her affiliation with royal kingdom estate so ladies and gentlemen all together let's warmly welcome madame varika hi varika hi Ajun. how are you oh i'm fantastic you look amazing. Oh, thank you. And thank welcome you. to the office as well. Aquaba. Aquaba, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so let's 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 start right from the beginning. Yes. I'm sure everybody is curious, as I am. We want to know a little bit about you, your background, where you're from, where you grew up. So can you just share on that for us? Okay, sure. So I was born and raised in Jamaica. Of right. course, we already said my name is Erika. Mm -hmm. I was born and raised in Jamaica. It's a typical Jamaican name. Yes. Okay. Yeah, well, let's retrack on that. Mm -hmm. Maybe not. Uh, when I did my research, I heard it's a Serbian name. A Serbian name. Yes. Okay. And the other name is Vera. So it's Verika right. or Vera, Vera. And it means faith. Okay. Yes. That's interesting. Yes. I never knew that. So now I didn't know either something. until I did my research. Yes. <laughs> I see. When okay. I went overseas, people kept asking, mm -hmm. what's the meaning of that name because it's not very popular in Jamaica right. and then I said let me do some research mm -hmm. and I found out that's what it means. I see. Yes. So you, you were born in Jamaica? Yes. So I was born in Jamaica, raised there. Mm -hmm. I migrated to Canada in 2013 okay. with my husband and my five beautiful kids. Wow. Well no, four beautiful kids. Mm -hmm. I had another child when I went to Canada. Okay. So I have uh, three beautiful girls and two handsome boys. Oh, that's amazing. Yes. So beautiful we live family. in Toronto currently. I see. Yes. What made you move from um, Jamaica to Canada? You know what? Um, Jamaica is a beautiful place. Right. Amazing. Similar to Ghana. Um, I was doing well for myself, okay. but then in terms of opportunities for the kids, that was limited. Right. And so um, my girls were just about to go into high school. Okay. And um, I saw that the challenges with university after they're done with high school to further their education, mm -hmm. the economy, it wasn't working out the best way. And so I decided to apply for the skilled workers program. Okay. Canada was offering that. Okay. And so I applied and that's how we came to Canada. As a matter of fact, we, um, we came like a week before um, they were supposed to or be orientated for um, their high school. I so see. they did not even get the chance to see where their high school would have been. In Jamaica. In Jamaica. Aww. Yes, because they passed their exams mm -hmm. and everything, but then we left like a, a week later. Yeah. Yes. So, yes, yeah, so we moved to Toronto and we have been there now for 11 years. Okay. Yes. Was it a smooth transition for you? Uh, I wouldn't say it was smooth. Right. The challenges were there because when we came, that's the first time we saw Canada. So yeah. we packed up husband, four kids, mm -hmm. and we came. There was no, we have never, we didn't see the place before. Right. So we just came. And um, yes, the kids got settled in mm -hmm. and they were fine. But for me, getting back into my career, right. that's where the challenge was because um, back in Jamaica, I worked as a internal auditor mm -hmm. with the government, with the Ministry of Finance. Yeah. And so getting the system is different. Mm -hmm. And so it was a challenge getting back in the system. 
But you know what? I think I, despite that, mm. I did well for myself. Yeah. Canada is a beautiful country. Right very organized everything is organized mm -hmm. so i'm not here to bash canada right. it's uh it was good for me at the time when we left and it worked out perfectly for the kids and because of that i'm grateful that's amazing. it worked out for my husband too oh, because okay. they're more for hands-on skills mm -hmm. so it worked out for him that's that's beautiful yes can we just touch a little bit about the community in canada because um, I've had conversations with other people as well. Yes. I had a very recent interview on the Motherland series. Guys, if you haven't seen it, the video is up on our channel. And it was another wonderful man. He also came from Canada. Yes. And he did say there was a big black community there. And if you're black and you're looking to migrate or look for settlement elsewhere, Canada is very, very accepting. Was yes. it the same way for you? Absolutely. So in Canada, um, the, it's... It, the culture is vast right. so you can find every nation mm -hmm. in Canada you have d different pockets where you'll find like mostly black okay. then you have different pockets it's Indians different pockets it's yeah. white in Toronto uh, we call it like the greater Toronto area so you have okay. Brampton Mississauga and mm -hmm. Toronto that makes up that area and in that you find every nation every nation is there so you don't feel like you don't belong yeah. you can find pockets where you can fit in mm -hmm. yes there, it's there yeah, that's yeah. nice and it worked well for you and yes for absolutely well. yes yeah. they're, they're, the kids are good they adjusted well okay. and they're doing well and i'm grateful for that that was my biggest thing to make the move mm -hmm. for them mm -hmm. and it worked for them because my two girls um my biggest girl is in um she went to university in Ottawa. Ottawa. Okay. Um, Michaela, who is here with me, mm -hmm. she went to Laurier University. Nice. And my son is now graduating high school this month. Oh. And he will. he's very good in basketball. He's doing okay. basketball. My other daughter, she has like two years left in high school. Mm -hmm. And my baby boy is in middle school. Oh, you are so, blessed. <laughs> yes. So they're all doing well. So yeah. that makes me happy because mm -hmm. they're doing well. And as I said, that was the reason I made the move for them okay yes that's, yes. that's that's wonderful honestly yes. and like i said you're very very blessed because yes. this is a thriving family yes. for the liberations that you're giving us yep. so absolutely congratulations on Thank that you. Yes. <laughs> now what is you're in ghana now yes is this your first time oh lord yes it is <laughs> yes it is 22nd of May uh -huh. 2024 you will, never will go it. down in history. <laughs> <laughs> That's a day that will go down in history. It's yeah. the very first time touching the continent. Wow. And the first place I came is Ghana. It's Ghana. Ghana. What, what made you choose Ghana? Okay, so that's another phenomenal story. Mm -hmm. So I was there in Canada and um mom and i we always have regular conversations yeah. so on this particular day mom called and she's like there i need to go to ghana mm -hmm. and i'm like what ghana <laughs> ghana where why <laughs> and i was so confused she said um she was watching youtube she went on youtube and yeah. ghana popped up okay and she's like what is this so then she saw, um, I think it was a video with um, Daniel King. He has a YouTube channel called yeah. Life with the Kings. Uh -huh. And she started watching and she became so intrigued. And she was like, I need to go see this place. Uh -huh. So she called me and shared with me. And uh, I said, okay. I kind of shrugged it aside. Then she kept going. I have to go. She was I need to go to this yeah. place. So I said, okay, mom, I'm going to do some research. So I started researching pulling up different videos. There are so many YouTubers I'm following <laughs> right now. At the end, I'll give them a shout out yeah. because they really guided me to this place. Right. So um, I started looking at different videos, Life with the Kings, Woody Maya, mm -hmm. all these people. And I, I'm saying, okay, this looks interesting. It's right. just like Jamaica. Mm -hmm. And everybody talks about the peace and everything. So I started doing my research, really, really doing my research. Right. So I got back to her and I said, mom, I think I'm feeling this place okay. too. Yes. <laughs> From what I've been seeing and what I'm hearing, mm -hmm. I'm really feeling this place. That's so amazing. I think we should 
check it out. Mm -hmm. And that's where it started. And then, of course, um, we're connected to uh, an amazing ministry in right. Canada. It's No Limits Ministry. Mm -hmm. Shout out to my church, No Limits Ministries International Hello. in Mississauga, 5915 Atlantic <laughs> Drive. Shout out to my pastor as well, Dr. Hope McDowell Gibson. Hi. Yes, <laughs> shout out to her. So I started sharing with her and, you know, she was saying, quite interesting because where Africa is concerned, she has been getting a lot of invitations right. to Africa recently. So every step of the way, mm -hmm. I was just showing her what we're doing and everything. And she kind of helped to steer okay. the way to here too. Right. So I must say, you know, thanks to her and um, her prophetic ministry because right. she can see exactly. so that helped to shape mm -hmm. yes so, it solidified your decision yes it did I, I will share even um well when we get to that part with okay. royal kingdom mm -hmm. and how i connected to royal right, kingdom right, i'll share right, that right. part okay. yes i'm very curious to know this what was yes. the first thing that came into your mind when you landed in ghana oh, just when you dear. stepped off at the airport you know what, what was I'll, it? <laughs> I'll take it back before we even landed in ghana uh -huh. So we took the flight from Toronto to Heathrow. Okay. We came through London and we had to transit to Accra. It's mm -hmm. a connected mm -hmm. flight. And I kid you not, when we went into that lounge mm -hmm. to make the journey, continue the journey to Accra, mm -hmm. the atmosphere changed. Right. Just the people that were sitting there yeah. And it, it, it's just different. And I found that it was even different on the flight too. Like the air hostess and everybody was mm -hmm. more responsive, more right. excited yeah. because of the warmth of the people. My, my, my daughter, she made a friend on the flight. Like, oh, wow. Yes, this lady was all over her when she found out that she wasn't Ghanaian. She was all <laughs> over her and she was just, even on the flight, she was, you're okay? You're okay. Like looking over, are you yeah. okay? Wow. And everything. So. We, um, mom and I, we sat together mm -hmm. and a gentleman came and sat between us. Right. And honestly, I am not the biggest on flying, mm -hmm. but then that, that man made me so comfortable. So we had a conversation all the way to Accra. Wow. And I must say shout out to Jones. Mm -hmm. When we got to the airport, that man, he, he asked how we were getting home. Right. And because, you know, we stayed at the decade. Yes. And he asked, how were we getting home? And we told him that we we're going to take Uber. He said, oh, no, no. I'm not going to allow you to take an Uber this wow. time of the night. I, my brother is coming to pick me up. So I'm going to stay here at okay. the airport and allow my brother to take you home and come back for me. That's amazing. We went through immigration. The officer, he gave us his number. The mm -hmm. immigration officer, he said, any problems, anything you need, Contact. call me. Yeah. It, it, it's just amazing. Like wow. the warmth of the people when we stepped outside, when we were putting the stuff in the in the vehicle, yeah. like everybody was just helping. Mm -hmm. When we got to the decade, mom didn't even take her handbag. Everything was taken. Everything was it's so warm. Yeah. Like it's just different. I'm so happy you had this experience. Ah, <laughs> I, I hear people talk about the peace. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, oh, really? Like people, I think they were exaggerating. Yeah. But since I'm here, I can honestly say I feel that peace. Wow. It's a peace that you cannot explain. Exactly. You know, it's just amazing. Mm -hmm. So I would say, come, feel for yourself. Exactly. Yes. Come and share it, the experience yes, as well. Yes, you have to. I'm, I'm it, very excited It can't for be you. explained. Yeah. And the people are so nice. Mm -hmm. the, it's, it's just amazing. Yeah. Truly amazing. Okay. Let's talk about some of the cultural differences between Ghana and Jamaica. Because I hear a lot mm -hmm. that we have a lot of things in common. Yes. The food. The food. Some of the, 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 the cultures, the behaviors of the people. Mm -hmm. Can you touch on that for me? Okay. Um, the food, yes. Very similar. We may have a little different names. Like right. uh, we say rice and peas. Uh -huh. I think you say wache. Wache, yes. Yes. They, um, is it kinke? We, kinke. we don't really have you that. You don't have kinke? No. Have you tried kinke? Yet? Not yet. What have you tried? Exactly? I've tried the jollof. Okay. The cassava fish. Okay. Um, what else have we tried? <laughs> have you tried oh. banku? No banku fufu. yet. No fufu yet. No. No. <laughs> None of that yet. But you know what? I'm taking care of business first. Yes. And then the rest is vacation exactly. mode. Exactly. Yes. You so take your time to yes, experience everything yes. very Because well. remember, it's just last Wednesday. Yeah. And then we went to that celebration on mm -hmm. Sunday. Mm -hmm. So we've just been taking care of business. Right. Yes. Yeah, just smoothly so, easing into it. Yes. Yeah. I find that um, 
in terms of the men, yeah. Jamaican men are probably a little bit more forward, like okay. a little bit more forceful. Okay. The Ghanaian men, I find they're a little bit more reserved. Is uh, this true? Yes. They're Is more, this true? Yes. They're a little bit more pleasant and reserved, uh -huh. you know. Um, Ghanaian men. Shout yeah. out to Ghanaian men. <laughs> yeah. In terms of the music, it's the same. The okay. Afro beats. We take Ubers and I don't know if they recognize we're Jamaicans mm. or what, but as soon as we go in there, it's the Bob Marley. We, we it's switch up for you. Con yes. The Conscience, the Buju Banton, exactly. the Taurus Riley. Ghanians so, love reggae music. Yes. So the reggae music, yes. that the dance is similar because even Sunday night, mm -hmm. the dance is similar. Yeah. Yes. So there's a lot of similarities the I food see. the food because we cooked our own food mm -hmm. and it was just like home wow yeah so it's similar that's, in those respects pleasant yes. and you did touch on the event that yes. we went to oh my god i saw you on the dance floor <laughs> multiple times oh, you were having no. so much fun it was so nice you know what i am not a big dancer i am not the dancer of the family you wait until you meet my sister okay she's the dancer but uh -huh. when i feel the right vibes yeah i'll do my thing right. you know and the atmosphere was just right mm -hmm. we felt like family yeah like everyone there just made us so comfortable yeah i saw my daughter they're doing high fives right. and hugging and i'm like oh my god <laughs> like it's people we just yeah. met yeah. the reception is so warm mm -hmm. it's, it's just amazing we on this hand we appreciate you so much for yes. coming so this being your first time in ghana you know people would have their reservations yes. you know but you came you had the time you came mm -hmm. to see us you came to share the moments with us and like you said we're all now one big happy yes, we are. family mm -hmm. thank you so much for yes, coming thanks to royal <laughs> kingdom these days i do i refer to danny as my brother right that's how it feels yeah. you know like yeah. he's family yeah, and um, Ghanaians look similar to Jamaicans. Right. If you look at us, you can't really tell, mm -hmm. you know. So I believe, I was saying to Desmond yesterday that I think that Africa and Jamaica was one. Yeah. And I think something happened and the split right. and then the sea came we have between. To, we have to figure it out. We have to <laughs> yes. see how that happened. We happens. have to find out what happened yeah, there. It looked like we all lived in one big yes. island, you know. Yes. Very similar. Yeah, it's so similar. This is home. I refer to... Ghana as a big giant Jamaica. Yes. It's the same. Perfectly said. Yes. But yes. how did you find Royal Kingdom? Okay. <laughs> On YouTube. S yes, of course. <laughs> and um, I must say, um, YouTube is the platform. It is the platform. <laughs> right. So as as I go, as I said, um, you know, I was doing research for mom and mm -hmm. everything. So I was following different people, getting all the information yeah. and everything. I was actually talking to someone else mm -hmm. to this was about in october i was talking to someone else to get land yeah. and i went through everything did a zoom interview and everything but um to be honest there's some things about getting that property that didn't sit well with me okay i wasn't able to choose my plot How i wasn't that's part of their condition um okay. i'm being diplomatic here i yeah. won't say yeah. who but you're not able to choose your plot. The plot you're not able to choose your builder wow everything is done under their umbrella by okay. their standards okay. so i did everything and i was, was about to make, make the payment payments. for the land and i sat back and i started thinking and i'm like mm -hmm. i'm not sure i'm comfortable with this yeah so i continued doing my research but mom was like very what are you doing aren't you gonna go ahead and pay yeah. i said just give me some more time mom mm -hmm. i'm doing some more research so while doing that research i found the bodies okay yes i found the bodies and um they were talking about royal kingdom getting their documents in 10 days yeah. and so on and i'm like really Litig litigation free exactly. nothing to go through peace like of mind. yes peace of mind everything so i started following their videos and i'm like wow this is very interesting mm -hmm. so i reached out to lisa okay lisa bodley shout, shout out to lisa yes i reached out to her and um, I started asking questions and, you know, she showed me a few things and she said, oh, yes, they yeah. are the real deal and everything. But being the person I am mm -hmm. with the inquiring mind, mm -hmm. as Danny was saying, very meticulous. <laughs> yes, I, I reached out also to Jasmine okay, Amma okay. because I saw where she 
did she an did interview for, us, um, yeah. for the decade yeah. and for yes and for you um, for the property yeah. development as well so i reached out and she said oh yeah it's um authentic she and everything yes she you. actually even reached back out to danny wow so then i got in touch this was in january now okay i am um, i got in touch with um royal kingdom mm -hmm. and it was over the weekend so i wasn't expecting a response, response i was yeah. saying maybe monday and over the weekend danny reached out to me wow. so i was so surprised i said thank you for responding so quickly because yeah. it's over the weekend and um he went through everything with me and even though he was telling me everything and i still heard from desmond and mm -hmm. jack sorry not desmond from jasmine desmond and the bodleys i said how do I know? Because I by now I knew what he looked like. Yeah, but you still so I said, had some... How do I know this is the real person I'm talking yeah. to? Yeah. Within a second, he turned this video on. <laughs> Real he, quick. Yes, he turned his video on. Just to assure you. Yes, and I wasn't ready. I said, oh, no, no, I'm not prepared for a video <laughs> call. Because I was. it was early in the morning, so <laughs> I wasn't prepared. You know us, us as ladies, yes. yeah? So I said, oh, no, I wasn't prepared for a video call. He said, it's okay. You don't have to put your camera on. <laughs> I will put mine on. I will on, put mine on. So, you know, I'm real. And then I saw that big grin. You know that he has that big smile. Uh -huh. And I said, okay, it's you. It's you. Yes. So then um, from there, I proceeded. Yeah. And. And um, I chose my plot. That was another thing. Mm -hmm. He said the master um, um, the thing. Layout. Yeah, the master layout. And there were so many different things I was going You're through. Like, he said, yeah, he said, Verika, just leave it to me. I'll choose a plot for you. <laughs> I'll choose the best plot for you. Wow. And that he did. Because we went there yesterday mm -hmm. and I you love, it. yes, I, I love where so we glad. are. Yes. You're at Grey City? Phase three. Phase three. Grace to phase three. Amazing. Yes. You like the view. It's beautiful. Like the weather, the it's landscape, amazing. everything. It's amazing. Amazing. That's the word I've been using. Amazing. amazing. Yes. I'm so and glad. And everything is as said. So I would tell anyone that is interested. I know yeah. there's so many, so many different things you hear of in Ghana with yeah. land scams mm -hmm. and everything. But rest assured, I can safely say yeah. Royal Kingdom. I remember um, even before we came, we were checking out like the Ghanaian visa yeah. and we called the Ghanaian High Commission mm -hmm. and we told, we were talking and he was ask, asking about the interest in Ghana and we yeah. said we bought property there. The man laughed at us. He laughed? He laughed. <laughs> he laughed. Like he was saying, what? are you people crazy? You buy property in <laughs> Ghana and you haven't been there Ghana. and you didn't even go there. And I was like, it's okay. It's okay. We'll be fine. Yeah. So yes. <laughs> but now you're here. You've yes. seen it. You've seen yes. that everything is authentic. Yes, it is. I'm yes, so it is. Glad. Yes. Shout out to Royal Kingdom. Yay. I can't say it enough. Mm -hmm. Shout out to Royal Kingdom and anyone back home who knows Verika, mm -hmm. they know me. Details, details, details. So if I say mm -hmm. it's legit, it's legit. If she says is it's authentic, legit. it's it authentic. Is. It Don't is. Play. Yes. <laughs> Now, quickly before yeah. we run, you yeah. mentioned that you stayed at our luxury Airbnb apartment, the decade, mm. and you loved it. Oh. What are some of the things that you loved about staying you know at the what? decade? What I find with um, Danny, mm. I find that he's similar to me in terms of details. Okay. He's, and, and I looked at the ambience, mm -hmm. how everything is put together the color coding, right. everything is just so sophisticated. Okay. It's elegant. Uh -huh. Yeah, and I was really impressed mm. with how everything is put together. But before I even stayed at the decade, I knew of the decade because I saw okay. that um, that interview with Jasmine. Yes. So I knew kind of what inside was mm -hmm. like, but everything is well put together inside of that place. Okay. It's really comfortable so we stayed for a couple nights mm -hmm. but then we decided that we would get um, an apartment because we're staying long term yeah so we found something that's mm -hmm. very similar to yeah. that standard okay. yes but he did an amazing job with the decade so, so i am recommending the decade and you know i also do airbnb okay. back home okay. so i know mm -hmm. what it's like to and exactly. i was smiling when i was leaving and i'm like i'm on the other end mm -hmm. of the spectrum mm -hmm. so it's amazing to be on that end yeah. as the guest yeah you know so you i really felt satisfied really nice experience. yes yeah. i really felt satisfied that yes is so amazing yes security well, uh -huh. shout out to 
Jacob, uh, yes, Abdul, <laughs> Elena, yeah, yes. all the names. <laughs> Shout out to them. That's yes, so they nice. they really treated us yeah. well. Yes, I'm so glad you found yes. us, and I'm so glad that we've met your expectations. Absolutely, and yeah. probably more. Yes, I'm looking forward to seeing what you're gonna do on your block. Yes, yes. And then when everything is done, maybe you can invite us all. We'll come for the housewarming. Absolutely, have a nice little dinner. Of something. course, yeah. And remember, Royal Kingdom is a one-stop shop one -stop so it's shop. not just to purchase the land yes they offer services to do your plan mm -hmm. to build mm -hmm. so i'm looking forward to work with desmond yes. and everyone else on the team to get our building up so yes <laughs> you are such a great <laughs> conversation partner thank yes. you so much for thank talking you for to having us. me i'm sure everybody watching is very very excited and somebody out there can take something from your story yes. and apply it to their life so thank you so Absolutely. so much i just wanted to shout out to yes. a few youtubers who helped to please go ahead steer the ship yeah so daniel King, Life uh -huh. with the Kings. Okay. Web Nation Africa. Hey Ford, hi. Morta Della. Hi Della. <laughs> Jas Jasmine Amo. Jasmine, yes. Um, Alita Israel. Mm -hmm. The Bodleys, of course. Lisa. Russia Sari. Hi Rush. Yeah. <laughs> uh, there's so many more, yeah. but oh, Off the Wheel. Okay. Yeah, yeah, so there's so many more because I watch mm -hmm. all these videos yeah. and they helped mm -hmm. to steer the ship yeah. to here. Yeah. So shout out to them. Yeah. Thank yes. you all for the amazing job you're doing yes. at shedding a bright, beautiful light, uh, light on the country. So yes. guys, this is where we bring the car to an end. Mm -hmm. Keep watching the channel. Comment if you have something on your mind, if you have any questions, whatever, when it comes to the services that we provide, just leave your comments down there. Like the video, share it, subscribe to the channel, and stay glued. We'll be back with more. Mm -hmm.